Classy yet traditional, powerful yet unassuming, the Dell XPS 15 9520 is perhaps, at first glance, the consummate PC for those who need to take some power on the go. It's a sturdy, aluminum laptop with a 12th Gen H series Intel processor and up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 tie. The XPS line, which has frequented the list of the best ultrabooks, has always been defined by its nearly bezel-free display, and the XPS 9520 is no exception. That made the OLED screen on our review unit appear to nearly float above the keyboard, but Dell still has to work on the webcam a bit. It's also thin, and while that makes the XPS portable, it also cuts down on ports. You'll have to balance that against the power it offers to see if this is the laptop with the creative abilities you need. Design The XPS 15 feels about as premium as a Windows laptop gets these days. It's a solid aluminum block with a silver exterior and a reflective Dell logo. It feels nice and sturdy in the hands. It's such a block, in fact, that there's no divot to open the lid with your thumb. This is a two-hand job. We tested the XPS 15 with black carbon fiber weave on the inside. It's also available in white with a woven glass palm rest, and while that's striking, I go for the carbon fiber every time. I've reviewed a number of XPS 15 models, and this one confirms my preference. The carbon fiber is more comfortable against the wrists and palms while you type and use the PC. The display is surrounded by narrow bezels on all four sides, which is still striking even though Dell has been doing it for years. Even now, typing on it, I'm impressed. There are a few extra. A fingerprint reader is built into the power button, for instance, though I much prefer using the IR camera to log in with facial recognition. Productivity performance. On Geekbench 5, an overall performance test that leans heavily on the CPU, the XPS 15 achieved a single core score of 1,757 and a multi-core score of 11,258. The single core scores were on par with the Gigabyte Aero 16 and Apple 16-inch MacBook Pro with Molmax, but the MacBook Pro had a much stronger multi-core performance score. The IdeaPad Slim 7 Carbon fell behind in both single and multi-core performance. Dell's laptop copied 25 GB of test files at a rate of 1,637.72 Mbps, easily speeding past the Aero and the IdeaPad. The MacBook Pro was faster at 1,917.69 Mbps. Our stress test consists of running Cinebench R23 for 20 runs back-to-back. -back. The XPS 15 started at a score of 11,760.82 and vacillated, mostly. Within a few hundred points, the CPU performance cores ran at an average of 2.6 GHz and the efficiency cores clocked at 1.6 GHz. It ran at an average of 81.87 degrees Celsius. Display The 15-inch OLED touchscreen on the XPS 15 all but floats above the keyboard. Its thin bezels impressed despite the fact that so many other computer manufacturers have been shrinking the bars around their panels. The 16-10 aspect ratio provides plenty of room for work, showing more content with less scrolling. Dell's panel is vivid and bright, albeit not the most luminous around. I used it to watch a 4K open-source film we use in testing, Tears of Steel, and in the opening scene, as a rocket booster's red flames turned to blinding white, they stood out nicely even against a gray sky. The XPS 15 covered 85.9% of the DCI-P3 gamut and 123% of the sRGB gamut. That surpasses both the Gigabyte Aero 16. The IdeaPad Slim 7 Carbon won out here at 139.3% of the DCI-P3 gamut and 197% of the sRGB gamut. Keyboard and Touchcat Dell's keyboard has chiclet keys that are decent, albeit a bit soft and squishy for my taste. My only real issue, however, is the half height up and down arrow keys. I wish Dell would switch to an inverted T for the arrows. I typed quickly and accurately on the monkey type typing test, hitting 109 words per minute with a 98% accuracy rate. The keys are backlit with white lighting, which can be controlled by a function on the F5 key. Oddly enough, the F9 key has no alternative function at all. I think Dell would be prudent to put a full set of media keys and to eliminate the shortcut for adjusting second screen settings and windows. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.